What is going on guys welcome back to another video of chat application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully sent the message from one user to another user we have these all message in the back end in this video we will display all the chat message over here in the recycler view so let's get started let's close all the tabs first like we have implemented in search functionality what we will do i will first create the row we had search user recycler row in the same way i will create one row layout resource file that will be chat message recycler row let's create it click on split over here i will make it a relative layout let's do it quickly height will be wrap content so i will make a linear layout width will be wrap content height will be wrap content inside that linear layout i will add one text view that will be wrap content wrap content and text will be let's say for now hello how are you and i will design this so i will add the background to this that will be added text background rounded corner and i will add background tint i will add some color let's say for now let's go to colors.xml and create two colors for chat message so color name is equal to chat color sender that will be 1e88e5 and another color will be send chat color receiver that will be 7cb342 you can change color from here you can choose any of the color so let's close this now i will provide the color to this tint as chat message sender padding will be around 8 dp and margin end will be 80 dp so that it will not go beyond here because left chat will be maximum to this so text color let's provide text color to this that will be white and text size will be 18 sp so our chat message will look like this we can add padding to this relative layout also about 8 dp it will look like this now let's copy this linear layout for right side view we'll paste it and it will be our chat color receiver here we will set a message i am fine for now here we will set it to parent end true and this margin end will be margin start other thing will be same so we have this left chat view and right chat view so let's give id so that we can use it in unbind view holder so id for this linear layout will be left chat layout and for this right chat layout i will say a right chat layout also for this text view we will provide id left chat text view and same for this text view also a right chat text view and we can remove this hello how are you and i am fine because the message will be loaded from chat so let's close this because we are done with this now let's create a recycler adapter like we have created in search user so class chat recycler adapter most of the thing will be similar so i will copy everything from here so i'll paste it over here but i will change lot of things so unbind view holder i will remove everything and i will click on control r and rename everything so search user recycler adapter instead of that chat recycler adapter it will replace everywhere click on replace all and then this view holder user model view holder it should be control r user model view holder i will change it to chat model view holder click on replace all so here layout will be chat message recycler row and here we will add all those layouts so let's remove all these things so instead of user model also we'll make it chat message model replace all so that's it. now first we will assign the id we have linear layout that is left chat layout and right chat layout we have text view left chat text view right chat text view assign id item view dot find view id r dot id dot left chat layout we have four things so right chat layout will be right chat layout left chat text view will be left chat text view right chat text view will be right chat text view 
now in on bind view holder what we will do when we get the message we'll just display that if model that is message dot get sender id if sender is me that means if it is equals to firebase util dot current user id the message is sent by me then we will not show the left side if message is sent by me left side layout will be gone invisible so right side will be visible and also we should set the message to the text view so holder dot right chat text view dot set text that will be message model dot get message so if it is not sent by me it is sent by other user i can copy this right chat layout will be gone left chat will be visible and left chat text view will be the message sent by other user so in this way we have implemented the adapter class now let's go to chat activity and set up the recycler view so here as soon as we come to this activity i will say set up chat recycler view same way we have implemented in search method so set up chat recycler view we have to create the adapter first chat recycler adapter adapter now in setup chat recycler view we can go to search user activity where we have implemented recycler view here you can copy everything and paste it over here so we'll change something over here instead of search user recycler adapter it will be chat recycler adapter instead of user model it will be chat message model everywhere and we'll change the query also so query will be firebase util dot get chat room message reference where we have chat room id so from here we will get all the messages so we have to sort it that means we will order by time stamp after ordering by time stamp i will give it descending order that's it so it will get all the message from our chat room and order by time stamp it will give one descending order so let's run it and test it it is working or not search test so i will go test user 2 as you can see message are being displayed but it is reverse order so we will fix that if i send one more message here i have sent the message so let's fix this reverse things first in recycler view where we are creating this linear layout manager what i will do i will first create a linear layout manager and i will set it manager dot set reverse layout will be true so in this way here i will pass manager so in this way the layout will look fine now run it now let's look fine these are our message sent by other user and these are our message so let's run this application on another emulator with test user 1 and see how message is coming let's run this application on emulator 2 So in emulator 2 I will log in with second account If I search for test I'll go test user 1 you can see message over here so in emulator 1 it is this emulator 2 it is like this from emulator 2 I will send message now hi again so i have sent the message but it is inside here when we send the new message it is not scrolling so we'll fix that now but if you see an emulator one i we have got the message so to fix that scrolling things what we will do we will go over here in recycler view adapter dot set register adapter data observer new adapter data observer we will override one method that will be on item range inserted so here we will go and we will say recycler view dot smooth scroll to position 0 so in this way it will automatically scroll let's run it let's search now if i type you can see now it is working fine 
so we have message over here also so our chat functionality is working completely fine so in next video we will add all the recent chats in this chat screen so that we don't have to search every time so we directly come to this main activity and we will have recent chats so that we can click on it and directly open the chat thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye